Round of applause. I cannot wait for you guys to make this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto low carb cornbread. So, today we're gonna be focused on a savory version. So I'm gonna include a little bit of cheddar cheese, some jalapenos, of course the jalapeno is just optional. Uh, one of the things that you will need is a little can of baby corn, and this has roughly about three net carbs per serving, okay? So we're gonna use this, I'm gonna show you what to do with this. So we're gonna start, um, you know, might as well just open it up. So I don't know if you could see that, but this is what these little baby corns look like. So um, what we're gonna do is you can chop them and then throw them in the food processor or just finely, you know, chop them, roughly chop them. I mean, you're the one that's gonna eat this cornbread. So um, the taste is gonna be the same. So I'm gonna drain this, okay? We're gonna drain the juice. We're only gonna use half because you only need about three fourths of a cup to one cup depending on your desired corn flavor. If you have corn extract, then of course use it. Um, I ran out, but we're gonna use half of this can for this recipe and I'm gonna save the other half for another recipe. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so because I'm making, I'm using um, half for another recipe, literally going to cut them in half. That's good to me. So we're gonna grab this, we're gonna throw it into our food processor. Okay guys, so right now we're, we're gonna blend this or pulse it just um, until we get to, I would say more like a minced uh, texture. But if you want, you know, if you want a little bit of chunks in it, then obviously just pulse it a few times. And um, this is just strictly to your preference, okay? Okay, so I ended up just, you know, running it through the food processor for about, I would say, less than 30 seconds. So we're gonna put it into our measuring cup just to make sure that we got it. And we're doing, I would say, three-fourths of a cup to a cup. Okay, and if you wanna use the entire can for your recipe, you totally can. It's not going to, you know, make or break your recipe. Just maybe give it a little bit more corn flavor, which is fine. So it's a little shy of three fourths of a cup, as you can see there, um, because like I said, I wanna use the other half for another recipe. Okay, so we move the food processor out of the way, and then the corn has a lot of water, okay? So it has a lot of water. I've made it before where I leave it just as is and throw it in, and it's good, but it turns out more moist. So if you're going for that texture, then leave the liquid in. But if not, you can drain a little bit out. So we're gonna just use a regular, my regular cloth, and what I'm gonna do is um, just try to get a little bit of the water out, okay? Let's see if I can get a little bit out right here. And if we are, but you'll see how it definitely has, um, yeah, can you see that? Like all of this is just, you know, um, extra water that'll go into your cornbread. So it just depends on your uh, preference. But you can see how it gets totally dry, right? So now let's go ahead and start putting everything into the blender. So literally you just throw everything in. Again, remember it's super forgiving. So we have our corn, baby corn, low carb corn. We have our almond flour. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw the rest of that in. We have our coconut flour, throwing that in. Our baking powder, okay. And we have our sweetener. So even though it's savory, plenty enough, it still has a little bit of sweetener, okay? So we have our sweetener. So we're going to just give that a little mix so that the baking powder and everything is, you know, well incorporated and just like all mixed together. And now let's go ahead and add the wet ingredients. So we have our sour cream. We're just gonna throw everything in. Okay. And uh, this recipe, I actually had it on my Instagram and it was super, super, super popular two years ago. Um, this was before I started my YouTube channel, before I had any recipes out. Um, I, it literally took me about a solid 
two weeks of recipe testing every single day, like several batches a day. So yeah, I'm happy to share this with you guys. And now this is the melted butter. And lastly, we're gonna throw in our eggs, okay? And once you have everything in, then we're just gonna blend it up. Okay, so that looks, that looks good. We have the batter. Now what we're gonna do is incorporate our cheese. So we have two different cheeses here. I have this one that I just happened to get on sale. Um, it's sharp yellow from Cracker Barrel. And then we have the Mexican cheese blend. So I just think for the sake of like that sharpness, I'm going to use this one here. But if you have like a pre, you know, shredded or even you want to shred it yourself, that's totally fine. Just use your favorite cheese. Okay, so we're just going to aim for about a half cup of sharp cheddar cheese. And we're going to mix it into our cornbread. And we'll just save a tiny little bit to top, um, to you know, for the topping. But that should be good. So we're going to do a half cup into our batter. I'm just going to measure it out. We'll save the rest of this just to top it, okay? But we're going to um, put in half cup. But we're just going to mix in the sharp cheddar. Yummy. It's gonna be nice and cheesy. Okay, so now that it's all mixed in, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. You don't have to, it is optional. So um, we're gonna make it in here, in this little guy here. I don't want it to stick just in case. So we're gonna spray. So let's go ahead and spread this out. If you want a thicker cornbread, just use a smaller pan or double the recipe. So here we go. And we are going to add some jalapenos. Um, in order for the jalapeno just to have like a really good taste and no spice, you just need to take out the seed. So I'm gonna show you how to do that because uh, with my cornbread, I really don't want spice, um, but I do love the, the taste of jalapeno. So. so I want it to look pretty. So I'm gonna um, do like little slices. And this is just um, to taste, right? And if you hate jalapenos, like not only the spice, but the taste, then of course you can just omit them. But we're just gonna place them on top. And then the rest that we have, that's just like, I would say maybe about a good tablespoon of cheese. We're just going to sprinkle it on top, okay? And if you wanted to put more, you just shred a little more and you use that because you guys are the boss of your kitchen. Okay, so I think that's good. Um, we have our jalapenos, our, sh our cheddar cheese, and now we're gonna put it into the oven. So we're gonna put it in uh, for 10 minutes. All ovens are different. So typically you would probably put it in for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna check it at 10 minutes. I'll show you what it looks like. You guys wanna keep an eye on it the first time just so that you know the strength of your oven, right? Because I don't wanna tell you, put it in for 15, 20, and then you end up with a cr like a crispy little uh, cornbread. So let's go ahead and put it in. My oven has been preheated at 350 degrees, so it is ready to go. All right guys, so 350 degrees, we're gonna put our cornbread in and we will come back and check on it in 10 minutes, okay? okay. So we ended up baking this at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. So you can tell that the edges are starting to get nice and brown. I personally love baking uh, cornbread in a skillet, in a cast iron skillet, but as you can see, it still turns out even in a regular baking dish. So this is my favorite part of the entire video. So we're gonna do the taste test. We're gonna do our chili, which is absolutely delicious with our jalapeno cheddar cornbread, which is amazing. So let's dig in. Cheers. Chili? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And a bite. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. You know, <clears throat> I could have thrown in more jalapeno into the into the batter. But this is so delicious. You guys are gonna be so obsessed. I wanna do it just a little so I can. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These combined guys. The perfect dinner. I mean, I don't know if you could see the chili, but this is also just perfection. A little bit of sour cream to give it that extra creaminess. 
tiny bit of cheese. You don't need to add too much cheese because you have your cornbread on the side. Perfect meal. Mm, mm, mm. Round of applause. I cannot wait for you guys to make this. Tag me so that I can see your recreations. Everyone loves seeing them. I do too. If there's anything that you guys want me to, um, you know, to make, uh, comment that down below. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel, that you have your post notifications turned on so that you don't miss any videos. And of course that you are subscribed or um, you are following me along on my journey on Instagram. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I love you and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.